Hey, Sir James, would you be so kind as to raise the alarm for me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> This episode of has been brought to you by God. I fucked Soros and blood last night. Guys, you might not realize this or not, but I'm here to deliver you a little dose of reality. Let me explain something to you guys, alright? The adult controlled, the mind controlled adult lifestyle. Hear me out on this, okay? Elite controlled adult lifestyle, right? Raised with no real knowledge of taxes, loans, credits, nutrition, investments, meditation, or mind control. Anxiety and depression caused by lack of purpose. Disease from stress or carcinogens in food or drink. Constantly seeking dope to fill void left by not knowing oneself. Worth determined by productivity or profitability. Loss of connection to one's own soul, source, inner child, or others. And here's my personal favorite. Here's my, here's my personal favorites. My first favorite. Brainwashed by media, religion, government, and big business. And my other favorite. Brain function. Skewed by acidic body. That's your reality, people. For those of you who think that democracy is cool, that it's the thing, guess what? It's not, and never has been or will be. You're welcome. By the way, I'm a huge fan of The Simpsons. I just hate the way that they've gone downhill over the last 20 years, but despite that, they still remained relevant after all this time. 30 years on the air, that's a heck of an accomplishment in my mind. But you guys, you guys need to hear me out on this, okay? You guys need to hear me out. This is the world that we live in now! If you cannot accept that, then I don't feel sorry for you. The only way you can break out of that, ladies and gentlemen, is extremely simple. No trust in any human government whatsoever. Devote your trust to God, it'll all work out. I can tell you that now. No, seriously. It'll work out if you don't have any faith in any human government. Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a reality check. <laughs> this is this is actually a really really funny thing here. You see, reality is a darn ding thing, and it really is. It's a damning thing. Reality just pimp slaps you across the face so hard that you can't even function anymore. To where you don't even know what the heck's going on, right? Okay, get get this, all right? This is Stacey Abrams, a failed candidate for the governorship of Georgia. This is this is what she said. This is exactly what she said, and this is really damn stupid. She is an idiot. Look at what she said. Look at what she said. Who needs agriculture when you can get food at the store? The hell is that? The hell kind of statement is that? <laughs> oh my god. 
You cannot possibly reason with stupid. It's it's impossible. I swear on everything that's right and just with this world. You can't reason with someone who is stupid. I am absolutely 100% serious on that. And I am not wrong. You understand, people? This is the world that we live in. Stupidity like this is accepted in every single way. You get it? You guys understand it? Because I understand it. And I know it's a fact. So if you don't see this as a fact, then you're somehow stupider than her. And I'm not trying to be ugly about it, but if you believe that people like this are going to save this hellhole called America from extinction, you got another thing coming because they're only going to make it worse. Yes, that's right, people. The very idiots that you elect to your idiocracy are doing everything in their power to kill this nation and they will not stop well well technically this nation's been dead for almost 150 years now cue the 1871 DC organic act which I know you people can understand and if you can't understand it then I can tell you straight up this is something that you need to know Ulysses S Grant made the worst decision of any president in history when he decided to give America up to the Rothschilds in the DC Organic Act of 1871 that he and his 41st Congress signed. You thought George W. Bush ignoring 9-11 was bad while it was happening. What Ulysses S. Grant did was a hell of a lot worse. And Stacey Abrams Everything that she says is a lie. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is your reality. If you believe that people like that, people like this, look, look at this! Look at this mug! If you think that people like that are going to change this country, then you have no idea how a country works. I'm sorry. And with that, I'm going to switch to the next topic. So, why don't we just... Oh, by the way, look at her. Look at her. Look at how stupid she looks for saying that. That is what she said. She said that. I'll quote it again. Who needs agriculture when you can just get food or just stuff? Is that not one of the stupidest freaking quotes you've ever heard in your life? I mean, come on. <laughs> you know Bernie Sanders, right? One of the dumbest Jews to ever be elected to a government of any nation on earth. You know, I still can't understand why he allowed Hillary to screw him over in the Democratic primary. It's just so funny to me. Oh, wait, that's right, because he's a sellout to Judaism. He sold his religion out to become a Satanist. Yeah, not that that means anything, but at this point, who could care less? I certainly couldn't care less. You couldn't care less. But yeah. The other two people... Well, not really two but more like one but the other person that I mentioned Stacey Abrams she is somehow dumber than Bernie Sanders which is a hell of an accomplishment considering how the hell do you get any dumber than Bernie Sanders this guy literally allowed himself to be screwed up the butt by Hillary without any lube during the Democratic primary, and you wonder why he's as miserable as he is now. Because he's a socialistic Nazi. And a Jew. 
Go figure. Chuck Schumer's not a Jew. So Schumer doesn't have any excuse for the crap job that he's been doing his whole life. Sure, there's a special place in hell for him too, but that's neither here nor there now, isn't it? Here's the deal, all right? Here's the deal. You remember that segment I showed you a few minutes ago about the elite controlled adult life cycle? Do you remember that from about 10 minutes ago? Scumbags like that. Look at that. Scumbags like that. Look. Scumbag. S. Y. C. U. M. B. A. G. Scumbag. Scumbags like that push this false fabricated narrative for no apparent reason whatsoever because, well, they're stupid and they don't know any better because they choose to be. Hashtag select. Speaking of which, selective retardation. Do you guys have any clue how rampant selective retardation is in this world? Do you have any idea? I'm sure you guys can relate because if you really think about it, and, and I mean this wholeheartedly, if you really look at it from a generalized perspective, you can see clearly the steaming turds that are foaming out of that man's mouth. You, you get to see it. I mean like that. Every time he talks, a steaming turd comes out of his mouth. Same with any Democrat or any scumbag who believes that Jeff Flake was a good person, because he's not. Jeff Flake is a sellout. He's a traitor to his country, just like John McCain. And thank God they are not in office anymore. That's all I'll say on that. Now, on the former, John McCain was a good man. He was a good guy who got who went bad because he thought that being a politician would lead him to success. Well, maybe it lead him to success, but what did it really lead him to? Forty years of his brain telling him not to be in politics because he's too broken down inside to understand it. But he kept pushing his own narrative and his brain had to kill him. His brain had to put his body out of his misery because he chose not to know any better. But I'm sure he's in heaven somewhere, so thank God for that. His service to his country, that can't be denied. But what about Bernie Sanders? Back to Bernie Sanders now. Bernie Sanders is the kind of guy that you would meet at an Alcoholics Anonymous therapy session And he's also the kind of guy that would also be a patient there at the local funny farm. <laughs> you know? What I also don't understand is the fact that every single day we allow people like this to run a nation that's so far into the ground that we can't even tell anymore. It's absolutely a shame. It is. It's a shame. It's sad, it's sorry, and it's a shame. And if you believe in this lie, then I don't feel sorry for you. That's all I'm going to say on that. Because what else is there to say? Nothing. But, you know, Bernie Sanders, his brain is so shriveled up. Do you, I, I didn't even know he still had a brain, to be honest. And I'll just be straight up here. I'll just let you guys know. I didn't even know he still had a brain. Because if for some reason he still does, it's so shriveled up that you might even say that it's shrunk practically to nothing. But, yeah, that's pretty much that.
You can't explain stupid, you can't fix stupid, because stupid is too broken to be fixed. There's nothing you can do to fix stupid, nothing you can do to change it, because stupid is stupid. Stupid is as stupid does, and in some cases, as stupid dies. <laughs> but you guys know it, and I do too, and that's all it counts. The more we know, the better. And therefore, the more fortunate we end up becoming. So, it has come to my knowledge, right, that this man and Stacey Abrams are two of the dumbest people in the world simply because they are socialist Nazis. They're not really politicians. They're just members of the Fourth Reich. And don't you dare tell me that there's not a freaking Fourth Reich going on right now. Because there is, and it's in the form of the Democratic Party, and the mainstream media, and most academia, and Hollywood. And pop music is even enforcing this Fourth Reich. It's a sad and sorry state of affairs, I know, yeah. I can't say I feel sorry for the people that are ruined in this country, because I don't. And I also don't feel sorry for the idiots that voted for them, of which I was once one. So I can relate to those people. But the difference between me and them, see, is... I voted Donald John Trump into the presidency in 2016. Or was one of the 63 million that did. What you people don't understand is three years after his election, Democrats are still bitching and 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 bitching about this so called Russia collusion Russia You know they're still bitching about that. It's kind of a sorry shame, isn't it? I mean, you know, just to set the record straight, yes? I mean, yeah. Do you guys realize we are in the deepest shit that we have been in in a long, long time? Do you guys realize that? Because if you don't, then you're going to have to later. Because let me tell you now, it's going to be too late sooner or later. You won't know what hits you. You won't know what's coming. And before everything becomes crystal clear, everything has to get worse and 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 worse until they get better. That's the problem. Things are just going to keep getting worse. They're never going to get better. Do you guys understand what I'm telling you? Is it all registering in your minds? This is reality, people. I don't know if you know this or not, but... At this point, I no longer give a damn. Yeah, but you see, the reason why I've spent so much time on Bernie Sanders and his endless streams of steaming turd bullcrap that comes out of his mouth is because of the fact that he allowed a woman to rig his own Democratic primary. It is shameful, people. The state of everything. Ah! Alrighty, here's another good one. Donald John Trump exposes the deep state for what the crumbs that they are, man. The scumbags that they are. Listen to this, listen to this, okay? And I'm, I'm going to try to read this as Donald Trump himself would say, okay? I was told not to question the FBI's integrity. 
But then we learned about them and missing text messages talking about what they were calling a secret society in the deep state. It's time to drain the swamp. Release the memo and nobody's feelings gets hurt. I mean, it really is that simple, you guys. You understand? It's it's really that simple. This deep state, in case you haven't noticed, is targeting you. They want you dead. They want me dead. And they want the spoils all to themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, this is reality. If you can't see that, if you can't envision that on your freaking own, then I don't feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. That's just the way things are. You got to at least hear me out on this, all right? Now, now, listen. Listen. I'm very, very serious about this. You know that humanity has gone completely down the drain when simple things like that get ignored oh oh and by the way by the way you wonder why we need to update our constitution and add a 28th amendment in there you know shouldn't we call it the brett kavanaugh amendment shouldn't we do that i don't think there's been an amendment named after a supreme court justice before but if ever there was one Brett Kavanaugh should be the legitimate recipient of that. He should have his own amendment in his own name. And I don't say that about most anybody else. Because I am telling you, the hell that they put Judge Brett Kavanaugh through during his trial, when they knew he was not guilty of what he was accused of not doing... What you don't understand, people, Brett Kavanaugh is innocent of anything that Brett Kavanaugh and Deborah Ramirez and all these other morons and Christine Blase Ford accused him of. They're just accusers. They're haters because they're in the wrong and they know it because Brett Kavanaugh is a man of integrity, a man of honor. Donald Jump Trump can be said in the exact same light. A man of honor, a man of integrity, and one that fights for the people and fights with the people. Not with the government or the state. With the people and for the people. It is so simple, guys. I cannot explain this to you any other freaking way. You get it? My God, guys, what a time to be alive, yes? What a time to be alive. And, and, and you know what the funniest thing is? They're still complaining about election fraud! <laughs> oh my God. I tell you, the state of America is just crumbling like a freaking house of cards. Holy crap. Everybody, I want you to hear me out when I tell you this because this may be the last time I try to convince you into knowing for sure that Democrats are the party of crime and tyranny. They weren't always this way, folks. Anything that Kirsten Cinema says is bullshit. Anything that Diane Feinstein says is bullshit. Anything that Kamala Harris says is bullshit. Anything that Michael Avenatti says is bullshit. Anything that Richard Blumenthal says is bullshit. Anything that Chris Coons says is bullshit. Okay? 
Anything that Tom Carper says is bullshit. Anything that Chris Murphy says is bullshit. Anything that Brian Schatz says is bullshit. Anything that Maisie Hirono says is bullshit. Anything that Dick Durbin or Bernie Sanders or Ben Cardin or Elizabeth Warren or Bob Menendez or Cory Booker or Chuck Schumer, or Nancy Pelosi, or Kirsten Gillibrand says is complete bullshit. Do you guys get it now? Now, why do I say that everything that these people say that I have mentioned just now is bullshit? What's the one thing that they have in common? The one thing that they have in common is that they're all Jacksonians. They're not Democrats. They don't deserve that title anymore. They're Jacksonians. Which means they are donkeys, which means they are jackasses, which means they are obstructors of freedom, liberty, security, and justice. That is what they are, ladies and gentlemen. I kid you not. That is a fact, and you know it. I'm not trying to lie to you people. I'm trying to be honest here. You want the God's honest truth? There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, by the way, anything that Shepard Smith says is bullshit. Anything that Chris Wallace says half the time is bullshit. Although he's right a lot more of the time than most people are that are Democrats or in the mainstream media. Anything that Juan Williams says is full of bullshit. Anything that Amy Coulter says is bullshit. You know that woman who is always against her. You know the woman who works for CNN, right? Anything that Megyn Kelly says is full of bullshit. Anything that Anderson Cooper says is bullshit. Anything that Geraldo Rivera says is bullshit. Anything that a so-called mainstream media journalist from anywhere except for Fox News, and Fox News itself is about to be taken over by the Rothschild rampage very, very, very shortly, it's just a matter of time, is full of bullshit. Do you understand, people? You need to wake the hell up. It's time. Alarm clock's going off like crazy. Time to wake up and smell the blood of Christ. Because if he hasn't come back by this point, he sure as hell will by the time all this is over. I can tell you that. You talk about a reality check. Here's your freaking reality check. You're being swindled. Yes, you, watching this video, every Democrat in Washington just about is swindling you. They're screwing you up the butt. Yes, I just said it. No, I'm not wrong to say it. And you know what? If I'm not right, I'm the closest thing to it that anyone's going to get. Like me or hate me. That is exactly where I stand on it, and that's probably where you should stand too. But you're capable of making your own choices, you're capable of deciding for yourself, so I'll let you decide for yourself. Alright? We cool? We cool? Good. Alright. We're cool.